Hey, I'm Jason. Today in the lab, it's all about breaking records. In our very first video, we broke this bolt, an M24 bolt with a tensile fracture. It took over 1,500 newton meters of torque to snap this in half. A few videos later, we broke this little bolt. This is an M3 bolt. And this thing actually generated 1,200 pounds of tensile force before it snapped in half. Today, we're gonna crush both of those bolts. We've got the inch and a half grade eight bolt. Hopefully we got enough torque in this setup to make that happen. And on the small side, we got this little guy. If I can even pick it up. This is the M1.6. All right, maybe I'll zoom in a little bit on this one, see if we can even see it. Can you see it? You got it? All right. So let's check out the setup. Let's do the small bolt first and go from there. All right, so how small is an M1.6 screw? We can measure it with a pair of calipers across the threads, and we see we get a number just under 1.6 millimeters. I can't even measure the distance between the threads because it's so small, but the threads are 0.35 millimeters apart. That's the thread pitch on this screw. And the length is just about six millimeters in length. So we're gonna install it into our circuit board. We're gonna over tighten it with the micro torque tool, snap it in half and see how much torque it takes. Now a little spike, that was it. We snapped that, that screw right in half. All right, you can see that spike right there. We hit 0.4 Newton meters of torque. All right, I think we can do a little better with the big bolt. All right, so let's take a look at the setup we need to break this giant bolt. We start off on this side with a torque multiplier. This is a planetary gear set and a half inch input drive. We're gonna put torque into this drive. It's gonna get amplified through the gear ratio and it's gonna come out of this and give us 4,300 Newton meters of torque if we need it to break this bolt. Coming into here, we have an external torque transducer. This torque transducer is gonna read the output torque of this assembly. It's gonna display it on this screen. And then here we have our socket. We're gonna assemble our bolt nut side tightening. We're gonna tighten the bolt around this collar. And then this is gonna back up the head of our bolt. And as long as we got all this bolted down and secured safely and correctly, we're gonna be able to apply enough torque to break this bolt. Let's see what happens. There it is. Oh, that was it. What did we break? <laughs> All right, let's take this thing apart and check it out. All right, so there we have it. We almost broke the bolts. We took it way past its yield point, but my one inch square drive adapter wasn't up to task. So. That's going to be it for the day. We couldn't quite break the bolt, but we did yield this thing and get it a full quarter inch longer from where it was when it started. Almost a failure, but we're going to have to have an even more robust setup next time. But let's look at what we did do. We broke an M1.6 at 0.4 Newton meters, and we went over 4,000 Newton meters trying to break this bolt. That's a 10,000 times difference in torque. You can kind of see the range of the things that we get to test in the lab. So we'll get this set back up. We'll try it again. So we'll see you next time.